Hi guys and welcome back to the Urban Butchery Channel. Today I've got something very special for you and it's a real skill for life and it is the butcher's knot. So without further ado let's roll the intro, move over to the butcher's kitchen, bottoms up, heads down, let's crack on. Welcome back to the Urban Butchery Kitchen. I'm going to be giving you step-by-step -step instructions on how to master the butcher's knot. I do understand that you guys probably don't have a port leg or a port shoulder to practice these knots on. So what I'm going to suggest now is an alternative to use a rolling pin. The majority of kitchens in the land will have a rolling pin. So what I've done, I've attached two pieces of blue tack onto the bottom and this will leave a gap underneath for the string to pass through. So all we do then is turn it over, place it onto the block, press down, and then we're ready to go. So, we get our butcher's twine, we take the cut end, and then we slide that underneath the rolling pin, like so. We then take the cut end in our right hand, and place the other part of the string across the palm of your left hand. We then place this cut end of string on top of the other one in my palm and then place the thumb over both pieces of string. We then take the cut end of string and we place that over the thumb like so. I'll just turn that. These two pieces of string here this piece of string that you've put over needs to go behind both of those. So then we pull that over and then we do exactly the same again. So over again and then we pull this piece of string underneath and then to the top again. Now if you notice my thumb here that is covering a loop, okay? So with the cut end of string, I want you to place this down through the loop, like so. Here we go, then through, and then pull that down, and pull together, okay? Then we place this piece of string into your right hand or left hand, and then I want you to turn that round so it's wrapped around your hand. And then just place your hand on the rolling pin and just slide the knot down. So it's a slip knot, really. Okay, if you used to do this on a joint of pork or a joint of lamb, you would then be able to flick that down on this knot. You would hear a click and that would tell you that the knot was set. So, that's step one. So now we're going to go on to step two, which is the security knot. So we take the palm of our hand and we hold the string in the right hand. And we keep it a nice bit of tension and then we just catch this string just in that little nick in your little finger and then just turn like so. So all you're creating is a loop. So the loop. Now keep your hand in the loop and with your finger and your thumb, it's like a pincer movement, you then pick up the cut piece of string, pull it through that loop, and with your right hand you pull that together and that is your security knot. And then that won't move when it's on the joint of meat. So the next thing to do is to tidy this up. So we need to cut this off. Now what I would suggest, if you're in the kitchen, use scissors. You don't need to use a knife, okay? So we place the scissors there and just snip off. And there we have it, one butcher's knot. 
So I'm not going to show you that again. So we get our string, the cut end, place it underneath the rolling pin, pull it over the top of the rolling pin. Remember the other piece of string is just across your hand, nice and relaxed. Then you place that piece of string on top of the other and put your thumb on the top. You then take the cut piece, drop it over your thumb and make sure that that string goes behind these two pieces and then underneath and up. So, round once. Round twice. And remember the loop, you're actually going down through the loop. I see a lot of people coming up this way, but it's actually down through the loop. And then, down through the loop like that, pull together, twist around your right hand, hold the rolling pin and down we go. Like so. Okay, so the next step, the security knot. So across the palm of the hand and across your thumb. Catch the string in that little nick in your little finger there. Keep this very still, just turn and create a loop. Pin some movement, pick up your cut piece of string, pull it through the loop and secure. Take your scissors and cut. So that's two. I'll show you this one more time. I think you can see a pattern happening here with these knots. I'll explain that in a moment. So, cut end of the string through, pull over with your right hand, cross the palm, string on top of the other string, then your thumb on top of both pieces of string. Over your thumb, behind these two pieces, bring it up, over again and then down through the loop, which is there. Pull together, let go of that, wrap it around your hand, make sure your strings are even distances apart, and move down. Then we do the security knot. Remember, catch the string just in that, across your thumb, and catch your string just in the side of your little finger there. Hold that tight, Turn round, pin some movement, pick up your end of the string, pull through the loop and secure off. Take scissors and cut. Okay, so there you go, that's the butcher's knot. If you look at the way I've done these, if you see that the butcher's knots are in line, then that's very good practice for when you start to tie your own joints. If you go into a butcher's shop and you see that all the knots are in line, it shows that the butcher has taken a nice bit of care to present that meat to you for sale. Welcome back guys. I hope you enjoyed that video. If you did, then please press the subscribe button. Uh, leave your comments in the box below. If you've got any questions, I'll try and answer them for you. And I'll catch you next time on the Urban Butchery Channel. Skills for life.